Hello there, here is my favourite product launch of 2018. Slightly early to call it, but I don't think anything will be able to beat this for me. The Chanel Rouge Coco Lip Blush is a new take on multitasking. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that Chanel and multitasking products are my weaknesses, so combine them and I'm in trouble. A cream blush and a liquid lip stain in one. These little lip gloss shaped tubes hold a unique formula for both lips and cheeks. I really held back and bought five because I've never tried anything like this. It's creamy but so light, it's almost like a mousse cream hybrid. This blends seamlessly into your skin to create such a pretty natural looking blush on the cheeks and a perfect comfortable lip colour. Not a liquid lipstick or a gloss, just a creamy smooth wash that you can build up or blot to leave a perfect subtle long lasting stain behind. The doe foot applicator is slightly curved to fit the real curves of your lips and cheekbones. Let's take a closer look at the shades I chose. 414 Tender Rose is the baby pink of the bunch, but it's not your regular rose hue. I'm not normally a pink blush person, but there's something so charming about this peachy nude. 410 Corail Naturel is quite similar to Tender Rose, but a touch more fair and orange. 412 Orange Explosif is certainly an orange explosion. Very bright, real pop of colour, but you'll see how it blends and tones down in a minute. 418 Rouge Captivant is a classic blue-toned raspberry red. You can see how these start out quite sheer, but can be layered to increase the intensity. And 420 Burning Berry is the boldest, vampiest version of the lip blush. A perfect plum, not too purple, not too brown, not too dark. I prefer to stroke a line or two with the doe foot applicator straight onto the high points of my cheeks, then blend with my fingertips in quick small strokes. You can see the sheer natural effect it creates straight away, not something you can overdo. This is also how you might like to sheer out the colour on your lips to blend it in so it's not all sitting on the surface like a gloss. For more of an idea of its staying and stain power, let's start with a tiny bit of each shade and blend away. That's how sheer we're talking, almost like a beautiful watercolour. You can see how that would look so fresh and subtle on the cheeks, but still add a different flush each time. And if you're a blotting fan for lip colour, you're going to be left with a great stain when you take away that tissue. I've found even the darkest shades hang around for hours. Basically, I've been completely won over by this formula. It might come in lip gloss packaging, but it's light as a feather and not sticky at all. Straight into my top three cream blushes of all time. In fact, these little guys are Academy Award approved too. At the 2018 Oscars, 414 Tender Rose was worn as a blush by Margot Robbie and 414 Tender Rose and 412 Orange Explosif were worn as lipstick, blush and eyeshadow by Saoirse Ronan. I've been using Tender Rose on my eyes ever since and it's such a delicate way to tie an entire fresh faced look together. So my top picks are certainly 414 Tender Rose as blush and eyeshadow and 420 Burning Berry as a low maintenance dark lip. I'm sorry I didn't review these sooner but I've still seen them floating around in stores if you track them down. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tried any of these or any of the other shades, or maybe you're setting off to search for them right now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.